This video is designed to help faculty and administrators conduct an evaluation using the online evaluation forms. It is not intended to dictate quality standards for teaching and evaluating. The purpose of this particular video is to guide you through goals objectives on page 1 and organization of a week of instruction on page 2. The goals objectives area focuses on the extent to which objectives for the week are clearly stated in the week of instruction, are measurable, and connect to course objectives. Let's break this down. First, are objectives clearly stated in the week of instruction? It makes sense to look for goals and objectives at the beginning of the week, perhaps on the first or second page of the module. You may find them elsewhere as well. Are goals or objectives measurable? In other words, can student accomplishment of the objective be measured at the end of the week? Bloom's taxonomy verbs such as explain, describe, and compare are measurable. We can measure how well these objectives have been met through the week's assignments. Broad language like learn or understand is difficult to measure. It's also important to note that assignments are not objectives. Here are a few examples from DEFT, Distance Education Faculty Training. Read Chapter 1 in your textbook. This provides directions rather than an objective. Students may read as part of the learning unit, but this does not describe the intended outcome of the learning process. By the completion of this learning unit, you will be able to identify the major contributions of Sigmund Freud, summarize the basic concepts behind operant conditioning, distinguish between perspectives. Each of these verbs can be measured in an assessment. Lastly, it is important that the module's goals or objectives connect to the larger course objectives, which can be found in the course outline and probably the class syllabus. When we look at the organization of a week of instruction, we are looking for an organization that supports student learning through clear organization that is easy to navigate. Content and activities are in the week's module and flow in a logical progression, which can be seen by nexting through the module as a student would. Content that can be accessed with minimal clicks is built into the module and minimizes downloads. Content and activities can be clearly labeled using page titles as well as headings. This concludes the overview of the goals, objectives, and course organization areas in the online evaluation form. You're encouraged to watch the other two training videos for guidance on navigating the other areas of the evaluation form. If you have any questions about evaluation procedures, please contact the 10-year review coordinator.